Welcome back to Studio 209. Sponsored by City of Turlock Municipal Services. 209 Magazine. Studio 209 starts now. Welcome to another episode of Studio 209. I'm Chris Messer. This week we have a very special show for you as Natalie Winters makes her Studio 209 debut. She takes us to the 10th annual Color the Skies Festival, which is the largest hot air balloon festival in the Central Valley. Take a seat and enjoy the show. As we enter the fourth year of a severe drought, water conservation remains a top priority for the city of Turlock. The city's conservation efforts include a new watering schedule, which reduces the watering days down to two days per week. For homes that have an address ending with an even number, watering days are Tuesdays and Saturdays. For odd-numbered addresses, Wednesdays and Sundays. And remember, watering is prohibited from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. on weekdays, and from noon until midnight on weekends. To find out more ways to save water at home, visit the City of Turlock's website at www.cityofturlock.org. Hey guys, we're here at the 10th annual Color the Skies Hot Air Balloon and Kite Festival. And guess where we are? In a hot air balloon overlooking the Central Valley. Tell us a little bit about this event. So this is our 10th anniversary. For nine years, Jessica and Greg Coleman got this going. Uh, this year, the Ripon Chamber Foundation took it over. As you can see, the crowds are out here, the attendance is up, parking lot's full. This event is huge, and what's really special is that this event is a benefit for Valley Children's Hospital in Madera. And the last three years, we've been able to give them $50,000 each year. What brought you out here? I've been hearing about it for the past few years and um, actually friends have told me that you know it's worth getting up early so I thought I'd give it a shot this year. Are you planning on going up in one of the balloons, Madeline? Yeah. Yeah? Are you going to be scared? Maybe. <laughs> what are you enjoying most about the event? Uh, well, so far, you know, the weather is great and uh, being able to get the kite up without having to run halfway across the field is pretty nice too. So it's not just hot air balloons and kites here. What do we have going on over here, Shannon? Dog adoption. Actually. Awesome. Yeah. So did you come here with the intent to check out the Stockton Animal Shelter? No, not at all. I came for the balloons. What made you fall in love with this guy? Well, I love German Shepherds and I was just petting on the dogs and he immediately came to my hand and was just leaning up against my hand and kept pawing me to keep petting him and I just fell in love with him at that point. Free adoption, he's lovable, he's adorable. Yeah. Um, you've made out with quite a day here, haven't you? I did, I did. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the Amelia Airship. Well, Amelia Airship is a Gefeflug thermal airship. It's 135 feet long. It was manufactured in Germany, and there are currently only six of these operating in the United States. This year, it's bigger than it has been, and so we are wanting to put it on the map, like Albuquerque, Reno Air Races, and hopefully we can do that. So we're looking forward to much bigger years and more balloons. Well, that looked like a lot of fun. Be sure to catch our next episode at 209magazine.com and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and exclusively on the Turlock Journal YouTube channel. You can find more details in the description below. For everyone here at Studio 209, I'm Krista Messer, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>